Hello friends, this is Sandra from whimsydreamsclipart.com and wallifier.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a beautiful watercolor birthday card with the help of Clipart and Canva. If you like this channel, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. It really helps the channel to grow. So let's get started. First of all, we go to canva.com. You find a link below in the description. I am an affiliate of Canva, just so you know. We go to create a design up in the right corner and click it. Now we search for card. This time we choose landscape folded card. First of all, we go to elements and grids. We are going to add a background to this design. Just choose a color. I go with white. We will change this later on, but just for a start so we get rid of the cloud like this. Now we go back to elements and choose grids again. And now we shrink this to a square kind of shape. Inside this shape we will add the wreath. We go to uploads and upload media. We are going to use the vintage style rose wreath from the Briar Rose uh, clip art pack that you find in the Whimsy Dreams clip art shop. You find the link below in the description as well. You download the wreath from the shop and store it in your computer. Now you go to upload media, device, and you go to the spot where you saved the wreaths. For this birthday card design, we are going to use number eight. Upload. Now you drag the wreath into your element box. Make sure that the wreath isn't cut off in any sides or corners. Adjust the bounding box until it fits. Place it in the middle of the design like this. Now it's time for us to add the font. We go to text and we write birthday. We choose this happy birthday birthday Michelle here. Click it and adjust the size to fit inside the frame. Of course you can you can use this these fonts, but I want to go with a more vintage look, so I activate the fonts and go click here in the font box here. Pro has more options. There are more fonts that you can choose from, of course. And I really love the Road Race stamp font. Road Race stamp here. And we are going to change the name here to Anna. And we are going with CS Gordon Round. And we are also going to change the color of the text and you highlight the text box and go to this text color tool and go to new color. You find the hex code in the description as well. If you have the free version, I have another font option for you. Go to the text or font option here and choose Glass Antigua. and change Anna to Sean Buri. Adjust the font to fit the design. Now, of course, you can keep the color of the card white. That is a great option if you're printing at home, but of course you can change it to pink as well. Now you go to File and Show Print Bleed. Now you know where to cut the, your card when you have printed it. You click download, choose PDF, print, crop marks and bleed and download. This is how your final card design looks. Now you can print it at home and you cut the eight edges here 
If you like this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, it really helps the channel to grow. And if you are into printables and want to learn more how to create quote art printables using Canva, you can check out my class that is open. You find a link below in the description as well. And don't forget to join the Facebook group. It's free and we discuss everything about Canva and I share tutorials and tips and tricks and lots of fun stuff and we learn from each other. So you find the link as well in the description. See you in the next tutorial. I hope you have really fun with this card. Bye bye.